Hello and welcome one, welcome all. High school volleyball. Quick, whoa! The first dump of the evening, Colleen Smith! Pete, it's finally here. That makes his night. Woohoo! heart! And by the power and hammer of Thor, she brings it down! Gender sends it over the net, return left side, needs small. Set, far side, Collins sends it over, Burke with a good dig. Pushing it back, Schweiger, tipping it two hand over the net, return, O'Neal, near side, O'Neal, is she able to bring it down? Good one hand punch by Andrew. Schweiger sends up, far side, sending it back, row return by Murphy. Beautiful rally here at Maris. Double person block, O'Neal keeps the left hand side, going back, slide, good two person block again, they found O'Neal's number, needs ball. Sends it, far side, Murphy, set up by Curran, goes back row, pushes it down, needs ball again with a diving dig. Pushing it down, keeping it is Lawrence Zielinski, that was a rally of the ages. <laughs> ice, ice, baby, for that one, forever, too cold, too cold. My God, it's like Ivan Drago. I must break you. And she gets the clap, 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 stomp, stomp, clap, 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 stomp. Hey, pass key. Back to Anko. Anko tips it over. Netzinga. Smith. Far side. Lamberti. Lamberti down. Lamberti kill. And that's all she wrote. Bordstownchicago.com. And welcome one. Welcome all. Dr. Pete Ferreri alongside Kyle Griffin, K. Griff 89. We are here at the one, the only Moraine Valley Community College for some wonderful Skyway Conference volleyball action. The Lancers of College of Lake County take on the Cyclones of Moraine Valley Community College. Kyle going through, let's name some of the players here for College of Lake County as we are getting ready for today's matchup. All right, the ladies for the College of Lake County would be number two, Brittany Wakefield. Number three, Shelby Myers. Number four, Emily Wickenkamp. Number seven, Nina Asuncion. Number 11, Christine Scott. Number 15, Beverly Black. Number 16, Stephanie Cahill. Number 24, Marina Barrero. And number 35, Emily Bates. It is sophomore night. Again, being that it's a community college. Some of our uh, lovely players here are going to be graduating onwards, just like the likes of Rachel Levitt, who we got to see last week and do an absolutely fabulous job for Chicago State University. Yeah, they, you know, they, this is the one thing about, uh, about community colleges. It's, it's two years, and then you're off, off to the next adventure, whether it's uh, a full-time state university or, or you just kind of get out in the, the real world and, and work. So... Um, <laughs> some of these girls might. Job. Yeah, some of these girls might go on to play at uh, at big time universities after spending two years here at Moraine, but some of them probably won't. Going through some of the sophomores here, uh, Kyle will take you through. They're getting flowers and balloons. The sophomore volleyball players here at Moraine Valley Community College. All right, some of the sophomores for Moraine Valley. Number one, Kelly Stack. Number three, Molly Duckwall. If I'm not mistaken, that was the famous duck dump. Yes. <laughs> um, I do remember that one. Number eight, Bianca Hull. Number nine, Danielle Donahue. And number 14, Allison Pitko. All the players giving high fives across the board. Let's go through the head coaches and coaching staff for both the teams. All right. For the Moraine Valley Community College Cyclones, head coach is Gloria Coughlin. And assistant coach is Donna Zidek. And for College of Lake County, head coach is Rob Caliendo. And assistant coach is Rosa Wessler. Uh, Going to be a bit of a different story from the last time we saw Moraine Valley. It was against Malcolm X College. And uh, Malcolm X, a new program, starting to figure things out a bit. You know, get players that, you know, have some knowledge in the game or can develop their skills along the way. So upcoming program. This time they played College Lake County a few times so far this season, but have come out victorious each and every one. So let's see if you're a Cyclones fan here on sophomore night, if the success can continue. Uh, both teams were in the long sleeve black jerseys. However, Moraine has the, the forest green numbers with white trim, and College Lake County has the white sleeves with white numbers and no trim. Yeah, that they do. It's uh, <laughs> Those are their similar. jerseys. And... Uh, under and Armour Ashley Cunningham Indiana. keeps looking over here. And we are underway. Serve off by Nina Asuncion. 
Good dig down low by Lake County. We're going to spike along the right side. It's going to be by Scott. Quick high set near side. Bringing it down is going to be Gardner out of Mother McCauley. Set far side spike off the double block. And point goes to Akane Murao from Osaka, Japan. 1-0. Moraine Valley takes the lead. Japan representing the building. She's not very tall, but she got up and pounded it off that double block and sent it out of the back of the court. Back to serve now, the aforementioned Morale. Right hand, good set serve. Sends it a bit far, two-hand side set by Scott. Scott then tips it over after it returns to stack. Back slide, spike over the top is going to be by Hull. Still alive, right hand, good hit over the net is going to be by Myers. Stack high set by Gardner and tool block. Two kill. Point goes to the Cyclones. Oh, man, starting it off early. Let me get a, uh, a lopping pruner. <laughs> One day I'm going to look these things up. <laughs> Scott returns on the set. Scott now goes for the kill. Good dig down low is going to be by Donahue, who's playing libero for tonight. Bit of a switch for the Cyclone stack. High set, quick one. Ten-foot line goes for the kill. And getting it there is Colleen Gardner. She's up to two kills on the day. Yeah, Colleen Gardner, the, the homegrown girl, getting the kill right there in the middle. <coughs> we're a different mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we're a different mics today. Different setup. <laughs> Morao serves over the net, and I feel dumb. Spike down. That one goes out of bounds. Point goes. I was going to say to McCauley as Colleen Gardner played for McCauley. Jeff is asking if we're okay, and we are okay. Thank you, Jeff. QC okay? Uh, I'm good. I'm good, we, we can move if you want. Good pancake there by Gardner. Sends it back in play. Gardner, right hand, serves over the net. Quick high bump goes far side. Spike attempt by Myers. Down Donahue able to get underneath that one. Stack goes across the middle. Donahue goes far side. Gardner keeps it alive. High set is going to be by Akane. Right hand. Donahue sends it over. Self-preservation back row by Cahill. Spike off the double block. Good one hand punch up in the air by Gardner. Back row. Stack goes for the kill. Dig down low. Not able to get there. Point. Cyclones. Five. Nothing. Huge kill by Stack right there from about the, about the 12 foot point. It, it was kind of a, a, an awkward set, so she just kind of had to hit it over, and no one could return it for Lake County. Good bump, far side. Scott sends it toward the middle. Spike down. That one goes out of bounds. Misdirection. She tried to go for the redirectional kill. It's now 6 nothing. Yeah, but just like you said, she went for the redirectional kill because the double block was right in her way, and she just sent it out of bounds on the far side. Back to serve. Right hand Akane again, and she gets the stomp, stomp, clap, stomp, 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 tip, ace. 7 nothing. Wow, Moraine, that, I guess this is what happens after you see a team a few times during the year, Kyle. Yeah, you, you get used to each other very well, and, and this is what happens. Kane serves over again. High set. Scott goes back to side after the two hands high. We have a joust left hand over the net by Duckwall. Spike down. Good block by Duckwall. That one goes back, and that one goes out of bounds. Point goes to College Lake County, and they get their first point. Of the evening. Yeah, very powerful off that double block right there. Just just pounds it off of it and sends it out at the back on their own side. So, so lucky for them they get that point. And back to serve is going to be Scott. And that one goes into the net on a service error. 8-1 your score. Cyclones go back up to a 7-point lead. Yeah, giving it right back. Yeah. Just uh, unfortunately giving it right back after getting a point. High set by Asuncion. Another high set along the near side for Akane as it goes back. Donahue goes far. Donahue sends it a bit too far. Point goes to the Lancers. A two-year score. Seems as what the Lancers have to do tonight is just allow Moraine to make to make their own mistakes. Absolutely. Right hand, good serve there by Black. Akane with a high bump goes near side. Stack down, no tip. Lancers get another one. Again, Moraine's been going for those tip kills. Nothing there. 8-3. Yeah, that's the one thing you kind of got to do when you don't have much height on your outside. You got to go off the tip. Akane goes back, slide. Bianca Hull down. Punch underneath and lift called on the Lancers. And checking in now is going to be number 14, Allison Pitko. 9-3 your score. And that's one thing that's going to happen. You're, you're just going to get mistakes back and forth, and it's going to be a, whoever makes the most. Good serve over. That one goes out of bounds. I'm able to get there after the libero. Wickenkamp sends it out of play. We're going to go to 10-3. Yeah, huge right there. And 
for, for Moraine. Just the rears back and just fires that on a standstill serve. You don't really see that kind of action on a standing serve. Donahue serve. That one goes out of bounds on a massive ace for the sophomore out of Lockport Central. Kelly Stack went to Sandburg. They had a big victory last night. Yeah, they did. Over Lincoln Way. The Knights. Donahue, right hand, massive. Oh, wow, what a serve. Myers goes far side, right hand tip over the top. Scott getting underneath it is going to be Duckwall. Pitko goes, and point goes to Pitko. She gets the tool kill from right at the net. Man, that was like a half-court tool kill. How about a Japanese pull saw? <laughs> <laughs> Again, I need pictures. Donahue, good set serve, goes far side. Good return by Wickenkamp. Keeping it alive and right hand over to the top is going to be by Myers. Akaya sends over, excuse me, Akanye. Set. Far side. Scott goes over the top. Big pick up by Stack. Goes 10 foot line. Coming up for the kill. Stack! Stack down! Stack kill! Oh, oh, oh! As I shoot across the sky, I, I, Moraine Valley kill. Yeah, that was a, that was a, a very smart play right there. Just. Just getting it over the top and, and not trying to pow overpower it. 13-3, timeout on the court. We'll take it with them. SportsTownChicago.com. Hello, football fans. Fellas, I can't wait till the toe hits the left. Welcome to the new home of the Joliet Buccaneers. SportsTownChicago.com. Come on, Bucs defense. You played so well tonight. Find all the hard-hitting action every Saturday and highlight, recap, and all the information you want for the Joliet Buccaneers football season, including pre-game, halftime, and post-game specials and downloadable podcasts. Only on SportsTownChicago.com. Was that a ball or was it a We're a beat of our own. And you see it's called a strike -up. Interesting. Yeah. Back to serve, Donahue, right hand, good serve again, almost a tape kill on that one, but Lake County able to get underneath that one, right hand over is going to be by Barreo, stack set, near side goes for the kill, good pick up along the far antenna, now going for the kill, double boss, Myers down! Myers killed. Donahue not able to get underneath that one. 13 to 4. Now, good timeout call. Yeah, very good timeout. And something that we haven't seen lately is, is teams being able to recover out of a timeout. And, uh, you know, that's just good for, for Lake County. They need to get some points on the board. Good dig by Gardner. Goes near side for Stack. Stack with a redirectional. That one goes out of bounds, though. She tried to hit the line on that one. 13 to 5. Yeah, they, she had the right idea. That The left uh, left side of the, the court was open. Just drop it down in. Back to serve. Right hand over the net. Gardner picks it up. Left hand. Duck wall with the duck dump. 14-5. Uh, you huge dump right there. You know, and, and as you just called it, the duck dump, that, that's the most famous dump in the world. It is. Dumps don't get more patented than duck walls dumps. She, I mean, she has her own name for the dumps. Exactly. Duckwall goes near side stack over the one hand, right hand block of Barrero. Goes back, 10 foot line. Scott has to send it over. Duckwall keeps it in. Oh, Duckwall sends it high off the basketball net and drops back in play now to get their 14 6 year score. Yeah, unfortunately, with that basketball hoop being right there, just catches the bottom end of it and sends it in a different direction. Serve over Donahue. Good bump. Sets up the pass for stack kill and stack. Oh, what a play, but it hits the rafters. A one-hand uppercut there by Myers. Kept it in play just for a little bit, 15-6. Unfortunately, with the once again, an obstacle in the, on the ceiling getting in the way. Serve over two-hand bump is going to be by Scott. Goes near side, Scott down, and that one goes just out of bounds. And that volleyball is going to bounce to where I can't see it. Kelly Stagg is going to run for it. 16-6, 10 point lead. Yeah, I would have ran for it, but we don't want to have another incident where uh, where our, our headphones go flying off of our head. and No, no. <laughs> uh, we want no injuries. No, no injuries. None. Stack goes for a good right hand. Sir goes right into the midst of Myers, who back sets for Barreo. That one goes out of bounds. 17-6. And Moraine continues to extend their lead. And this is what they do. This is the last time we saw them against Malcolm X. They, you know, they, they just got a lead and, and they ran quick high sets gonna be by Asuncion one hand underneath good stab at it is gonna be by Cunningham keeping alive for the Cyclones 
Two-hand side bump from Wick and Kempsing of the attack for the Lancers. Good dig down low. Donahue. Duckwall goes to Gardner. She gets blocked. Stack 10-foot line. Donahue. And Donahue sends it out of bounds. Point goes Lancer. 17-7 back within 10. Very tough to get to get much top spin and snap on that ball from, from as far back if you're not a, a very tall team. Right hand. Set serve over. Barreo. Two-hand bump under is going to be by Donahue. Goes far side and set up the attack again for Scott and the Lancers. High bump, stack. Duckwall keeps it alive. Gardner right hands it over the net and it drops in bounds. They weren't ready for that. She just kind of slid along that net and just slapped right at it. Definitely weren't ready for that one. And as they were kind of pulling towards the their right and, and that ball was going to their left, bit of confusion. Right hand, good, uh, almost sends it into the net, but doesn't. Stack keeps it alive, and so does Duckwall. Hull sends it over to the attack of the Lancer. Scott, left hand dump, Pitco keeps it alive. Stack, up, Gardner. Gardner, tear drops it over to the bit of the top. Goes for a right hand, keeping it alive, Cunningham. Long rally here, Gardner goes for the kill, sending it back, down, kill. Outside hitter freshman, Colleen Gardner, 19-7. Yeah, very good job by Gardner to to pick a spot where she's been recognizing that's weak, and that's that back line for Lake County right now. They're just exposing it. And we have it dropping in bounds. Stack with the ace, 20 to seven. A very powerful hit right there. Much uh, much obliged to the other team. They just, they just couldn't get anything. Serve over, bump, two knees. Scott to Myers, far side. Barreo gets it alive. Duckwall digs down low. Gardner tips over. And Gardner with a redirection on that one. A hometown hero here. Having played high school just down the block pretty much. 21-7 now the score. Right hand. Good serve there by Pitko. High bump from the back row for Scott who sends it over. Is going to be Asuncion from the Philippines. Left hand spike down by Cunningham. And not able to get there cleanly for the Lancers. It is going to be number seven. Again, Nina Asuncion. And 22-7 your score as Pitko back to serve. Right hand set serve. High return there by Barreo out of Lakes Community High School. Spike Ogre dig over, dig down low. Right hand keeping it alive is going to be Bianca Hall. Far set toward the antenna. Dig one hand punch down low. Pitko, she is playing crazy tonight for this sophomore night. High bump. Stack, near side, Gardner down and goes for the chicken wing. And they take out a bite of that one with that kill. 22 to 8 point to the Lancers. Yeah, Height always wins out. And, and Gardner, not being a very tall girl, sends it right into it and tries to hit it up with her shoulder. High set, spike down. Not able to get there in time is the Sunshion. 23 to 8 after the serve on SportstownChicago.com. Yeah, Bianca Hall right there with the. The quick one towards the middle, slaps it down, and no one home for Lake County. Back to serve now, bouncing a few times is Akane. Right hand, bit of a rainbow serve into the hands of Scott. Goes far side, big kill there by Shelby Myers out of Warren Township High School, 23-9. to nine. Didn't close the block very good, and, and that's what will happen. Balls will sneak right through that double block at any point in time. Back to serve. Scott drops it over. High bump in the air to Duckwall. 10-foot line. Gardner is not able to send over her and Stack hit it at the same time. 23-10. Little bit of miscommunication between Stack and Gardner, but and nothing to, to kind of hang your head on of. And just kind of trying to go through the motions right now. Stack with the bumper turn. 10-foot line. Duckwall to Hull. Left hand at it. It's going to be 24-10. to 10. After that misplay return. Just made up for made up for that little mistake earlier with the, the miscommunication and getting that point right back and getting it to, to set point. Again, another thought, assistant coach Donna Zidek, her daughter is with the assistant coach at DePaul. Yeah. Got to give that shout-out where shout-outs are due. Stack goes for the kill, and Stack gets it roughed right back in her face by Steph Cahill on a Grant Community High School, 24-11. to Back-to-back yeah, -back right there on that that left, uh, left outside, and it's just getting pounded right back in their face. Right hand, set serve for the aforementioned Cahill. Donahue, high bump. Duckwall goes near side for Stack, who tips over the double block. Scott able to pick up the pieces. Left hand dump attempt there is going to be by Cahill. 
Now it goes back to Myers, redirects it to Duckwall. Goes up, stacked down, still alive. Lakes, two-hand dump, right hand. Hall punches it under. A wild sloppy play both sides, but they're still keeping it alive. High in the air, Gardner, right hand. And that rally just ends with Stack take, taking an uppercut to it, 24-12. to 12. Yeah, She's like, I hate this ball, boom, <laughs> and tries to go <laughs> punching at it. I and, am done. Yeah. Uh. yeah, very, very sloppy play, just like you said. They're both uh, kind of slapping at it and, and not... Flappy, Flapperson, Donahue. Good bump on the near back corner. High set, far side, Myers goes for the kill. Donahue able to get underneath that one. Duckwall, Hull, Hull block, chicken wings it up, back to Gardner. Gardner sends over the two-hand bump. Set, far side, Myers off the double block, up to Gardner. Duckwall, near side, stacked down. Oh, good pancake back row by Asuncion. Still alive, another ridiculously long rally. High bump, Gardner, back set, Hull down, Hull kill. 25 to 12 is the way this first set is going to end here. We're going to come back. What's going to happen in the second? We'll find out. SportstownChicago.com. SportstownChicago.com, the only place where you can talk Pokemon with the Pokemaster. <laughs> Bringing you all the pressing topics brought to you by SportstownChicago.com. Hey, it's your boy Johnny K. I'm here with my partner Patrick. Say hi, Patrick. Hi, Patrick. And don't forget to tune in to us each week for the Sunday Sports Show. Yes, it's every Saturday on Sportstown Whoa. Chicago. Whoa. What? No, Sunday. I thought we were on Saturday. No, man, Sunday Sports Show. Oh, I guess I never thought of it that way. Oh, anyway, don't forget to tune in to us each Sunday from 10 a.m. to noon, the Sunday Sports Show, only on SportstownChicago.com. What are we going to do about football season? SportstownChicago.com is now bringing you behind the scenes with contestants from NBC's The Biggest Loser. Holy cow! Check out SportstownChicago.com slash Biggest Loser to download exclusive interviews with past contestants and winners. Why are we so blessed? Listen as they talk dieting, sports, hobbies, and life after The Biggest Loser. So log on to SportstownChicago.com slash Biggest Loser now. God bless the internet. SportstownChicago.com in a league of our own. It's football season finally around the corner. That ain't true! Yes, it is, and that's why you need the sports hump for your pigskin fix. Wednesday from 10 to 1, Rick and Ian... They like playing with each other. Well, that may be true, but they will break down the thoughts of the brightest minds in the game. D playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. I don't know anything. It's Division I football! It's the Big 12! Cannot play with them. Cannot win with them. Cannot coach with them. Can't do it. Go off any uh, uh, of our geniusness. So tune in to the Sports Hump. Wednesdays from 10 to 1 on SportstownChicago.com. Chicago baseball's got you down and you're looking for hard-hitting football this summer, then head to SportstownChicago.com for all the action of the Northwest Illinois Wildcats. I like this kind of body! Every Saturday, the Wildcats try to claw their way to victory in the great Midwest Football League, and for all the sound and latest news on the Wildcats, go to SportstownChicago.com slash Wildcats. Bring it, baby! SportstownChicago.com and the Northwest Illinois Wildcats. We're in a league of our own. 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Where Chicago sports live. SportstownChicago.com. Welcome back, SportsTownChicago.com. Dr. P. alongside Kyle Griffin to hit us up at Twitter, Sport TWN Chicago. We have sectional championships coming your way tomorrow. But underway here, back at the collegiate level, Skyway Conference, one of the best teams perennially in the Skyway Conference. Moraine Valley leads one set to nothing as that one goes out of bounds on a College of Lake County misfire on the serve. And we're back underway. High bump there is going to be by Scott. 
Sit back, set to Scott, two-hand high punch near by Duckwall. Akana goes far side, Gardner goes for the kill, now wearing a headband, was not before. Joust, left hand tip, one there, Bianca Hall, one to nothing, it's going to be two to nothing on SportsSoundChicago.com. That one right there for Bianca Hall, just dropped down right by the net, and none of the Lake County girls could do anything about it. High set, Scott sends it over, stack with a return. Duck wall, left side, Akana down, double block, she still keeps it alive, puts it back to the side of Pitco. Set, near side, Myers down. Myers kill. Good kill there by Myers, two to one. Yeah, very huge right there. She recognized the double block came up, kind of slid over just a, a, a half of a step in, and put it right down that alley where there was no, uh, no cyclone present. Back to serve, bouncing a few times. Number 11, Christine Scott, right hand set serve. Right hand, oh, returned right back at him. Cahill, that's, that pass went a little too far, and boom goes that one, two to two. Yeah, I think this, this Lake County team has, has figured it out. Scott serves over again. Duckwall, far side, spike down. There we go. Gardner down, Gardner kill. Colors of the world, spice up your life, 3-2. And Gardner with the... The misdirection off the side of her hand, slapping it down. Good kill. Akane serves, sends it a bit too far. Service error. It is going to be three to three. Lancers keeping this one a lot closer than the last. Yeah, that they are, and, and the fact that they're they're able to use their outside hitters to some sort of advantage, I think, is is really helping them right now. Serve over, almost going out of bounds. Akane keeps it alive, and Donahue not able to get underneath it. Again, we talked about in the first one, Lake County allowing the Cyclones to make their own mistakes. And that's what they didn't do much of in that, in that first set that, that they're doing right now. They're just making them make mistakes. Wickenkamp serves over. Quick one kill attempt by Hall, and Hall able to get it down. Swing in the axe for four-year score. And Christine Scott for Lake County right there with a, just a kind of a, a defensive swat at it, kind of hoping it wouldn't hit her in the face. Serve over and two players running into each other, that being the Libero Wicken Camp and outside hitter Scott. 5 4. Cyclones regain their lead. Back to back mistakes right there for Scott, and you never want mistakes with your Libero and Wicken Camp. Gardner, right hand, serve, picked up Wicken Camp. High bump in the air is going to be by Boreo, and going out of bounds. Point goes to the Cyclones. 6-4. Gardner, right hand, set serve, high return by Wickenkamp. Barreo, near side, off the block, pancake down. Moraine doing a good job of keeping it alive. Hall keeps it alive, sends it on the side. Right hand dump attempt by Cahill. Gardner goes for the kill off the left hand block. Barreo, but not able just in time as Myers, 7-4. Back to a three-point lead for the Cyclones. Lake County, no, no real team communication and cohesiveness off, the, off of that double block. They just can't return anything when it hits off a double block. Stack, serve, over, Myers, right hand, slap at it. High kill, oh, look at that kill. Massive kill attempt there by Stack. That one drops in bounds. Point goes to the Cyclones. They're up to 8-4. It's not really surprising. Almost hit some people walking in the stands. It is. But it's not really surprising at how, how lethal Moraine Valley is when you have such close, good schools in the area. High bump. Wicken Camp goes to Boreo. Returned by Stack. Duck wall. Duck wall. Duck dump. 9 4. And once again, very smart selection with the dump. She she recognized that the, the, the double block was, was coming down already, so she tipped it over the top. Gardner serve over spike down. Myers, good self preservation by Duck wall. High set, decoy down, two knees, drops as Asuncion able to keep it alive. Boreo sends it over. Hull sends it at the net. Hull not able to return it cleanly. 9-5. I wasn't able to see it clearly myself. This line yeah. judge is tall. I, I think Hull was kind of going for a decoy kill right there, and uh, and Gardner just didn't come on the backside for, for the kill. Myers serves, duck wall across the middle, tip over, easy going is Stack, and Stack gets the point. Pico comes to check in, 10-5 your score. Once again, just like I said a second ago, 
there's no real cohesiveness on that return. If there's tips over the top or anything like that, it's one thing that they really need to work on. Donahue with a massive serve, self-preservation high by Wickenkamp. Backslide to Pitco, dig down low, Myers. Two-hand high bump, Cahill, right hand into the net. It's going to be Scott on that one. And we are up to 11-5, six-point lead extended again for the Cyclones. They're just making Lake County make the mistakes as, as opposed to making their own. Serve over, good side bump by Myers. Back row, Akane. Wickenkamp, high bump goes to Myers. She goes for the kill, able to be returned by Duckwall. Sends it to Gardner. High set, near side, right hand over the top. Barreo, we still have a rally going on here. Spike across the middle, one hand, right to Griff. Almost get you, Griff. It, it bounced over. I, I, had, I had the position. Yeah, you were good. Position. You were good. It was your own version of self-preservation, 12-5. I, I had it, man. Ah, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. But, you know, timeout now. But, you know, once again, just this Lake County making the mistakes, and, and Moraine's not. And we're taking time out with them, 12-5, SportstownChicago.com. Chicago baseball's got you down and you're looking for hard-hitting football this summer, then head to SportstownChicago.com for all the action of the Northwest Illinois Wildcats. I like this kind of party! Every Saturday, the Wildcats try to claw their way to victory in the great Midwest Football League, and for all the sound and latest news on the Wildcats, go to SportstownChicago.com slash Wildcats. Bring it, baby! SportstownChicago.com and the Northwest Illinois Wildcats. We're in a league of our own. SportsTownChicago.com, Dr. Pete, alongside the one the Illinois Cup For our listeners out there, this is also going to be the site of the 2011 Illinois High School Girls Volleyball All-Star Game, Griff, December 3rd. It's going to be exciting. I'm excited to join the team. That's all I'm worried about. 5 o'clock p.m. is when the Hoot Nanny starts. Quick redirection uh, by Duckwall, two-hand side bump. Cahill sends it back to the side of the Cyclones. Down, Gardner goes for the massive kill. High bump goes back to Gardner. She redirects it back to Myers from the back row. Quick one set, going for the kill. Gardner able to pick up the pieces. Pitko left hand stabs at it to Scott with a high bump. Goes near side and tool block, tool kill. Nina Asuncion, 12-5. Hmm, what do we want? How about a pry bar? A pry bar. That's something you know. Yeah, I do, I do. Cahill, I've had to use it before for numerous reasons in life. <laughs> High bump goes back to Scott. Right hand slap at it, and she hits the antenna. You can't do that. Yeah, no, nope, that's something you just can't do. That's a, one of those illegal things. 13-6 is going to be your scores as Duckwall serves to Wickenkamp. High set along the left-hand side, and Duckwall me redirects that one. It's 13 to seven now. Great timeout by Lake County. Once again, they they work well out of the timeout, and and I think it's just good coaching and, and coach telling them things that they need to work on. Serve over. Donahue goes for a kill with a right hand fist kill attempt. Dump over is going to be by Scott, but still alive. Left hand kill attempt by Cunningham. Cunningham down. Cunningham kill. Party rocking in the house. Tonight. Do, 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 Stack serves. Myers, far side. High bump by Wickenkamp. Right hand stab at it to Scott. Sends it back to Duckwall, who goes to Gardner. Gardner blocked by two. Right hand, a pure slap at it by Myers. That keeps it in play. Pitko goes out of bounds. Oh, Pitko! Falling out of bounds. Keeps it in play. 15-7. A yeah, very good play right there for Pitko. She was like you said, she was falling out of bounds. She recognized the block was there, spins it off the block, and it drops down in uh, on their side of the court. Back to serve. Good high bump by Asuncion. Goes 10 foot line, right in hand by Barreo, and she sends in the net, not able to clear it over. And we're at 16 to 7 on SportstownChicago.com. Lake County just keeps making mistakes. It's unfortunate. Serve over, high bump. Right hand is going to be by Myers. Set by Cunningham. Goes to Gardner. Still alive. 
along the middle. Scott sends over to Asuncion. And lift called by Cunningham 16 to 7 now on SportsTownChicago.com. Had the double block in place. She's not a not close enough to the net. Dropped down uh, in front of her and she sent it up. High bump. Back set. Left hand Cunningham off the double block. And that one goes out of bounds. Good tip kill by Cunningham, who's seeing more playing time now in the second set. It's going to be interesting to see how, you know, they move around some of the players from Moraine. You know, we still haven't seen, you know, uh, Phillips play. Conton, we haven't seen play a lot. It's going to be interesting once these girls get into play how it shifts the dynamic. But Scott hits it over, and we're underway. Two-hand by Duckwall goes far side to Gardner off the double block. High play, Myers backside. Scott right hand. Good dig down low is going to be by Stack. Bump back row that time by Asuncion. Goes left side, Myers goes for the kill. High return by Gardner. Bump left side, Cunningham. Return easily by Borreo. Set across 10 foot line, back return by Black who recently checked into the game. And Hall out of position there, 17 to nine. Duckwall went with the, the back set right there and I think I think Hall was going towards the front for the, the middle kill and in just a little bit of confusion. Right hand, Scott serves over the net. Duck wall, far side, Gardner goes off the double block. Gardner really swinging it today. But Lake County in the right position, and that one drops inbounds. Big kill there by Lake County. We are at 19-7. to seven. Leaving that back line exposed, and you're, you're just letting Lake County sneak back into this game by, by making simple mistakes. Scott, right hand, set serve, Lancers trail by seven. Hull goes for the kill, gets sent back on the side of Duckwall. Cunningham goes for a kill, down to two knees is Asuncion. Tips over the block, and I have to get there. Point goes to the Lancers. I tell you, every time now, I maybe for the rest of my career, when I see 17-10, I'm going to think St. Ignatius' is lead over Hinsdale Central. I, I, would not, I would not have to disagree with that one bit. Wow. Serve over. Bump across the middle. Spike, double block. High return, two-hand side bump. Cunningham. Still alive. That one goes out of bounds on the Tim. Tool block, tool kill. Oh, Going to be for Colleen man. Gardner. 18-11. Got more, uh, more more tool kills in this one than we've had all week. Uh, how about uh, some slotted pliers? Slotted pliers. Serve over. High bump there by Asuncion. Goes right side. Serve over. Or excuse me. Hit over is going to be by Stack. Down to two knees of Sunshine. Gardner keeps it in play. Right at the net. Not able to get there in time. It's going to be Morau. 18 to 11. Move it up to 18 to 12. Just huge. You, you know, you get a little bit of momentum, and, and that the lead looks like it's dwindling. Back to serve. Stack. High bump. Goes far side. Gardner goes for the kill, and Gardner gets the kill. As misplay on the return is going to be Wicken Camp, 19 to 12. All starts with the libero. If she doesn't get that good pass, you are in trouble for that rally. Uh, that's how it is in any level. Serve over, high bump goes to the near side to Barreo, drops it over the net, and point that time goes to Moraine, 2012. Bad set to the outside, and, and nothing she could do about that. High bump goes 10 foot line. Scott two hand directional set. Goes to Hull off the double block and taking a stab with the right hand is going to be Asuncion and 21 12 is your score. Yeah, this this uh, Lake County team, they just keep making the mistakes and, and forcing, forcing Moraine to just use that to their advantage. Serve over, right side, Myers goes for the kill. Right across the middle, tip, two hand by Myers. Set goes back to Myers. She directional sets it, and Gardner is actually smiling. She's not able to scare any that one. She took a high leap at that one, not able to bring it down. That was in the, in the, the no woman's land. Well, with her, uh, a no woman's land is uh, about six foot tall because she's so short. So she kind of had to throw her arm up and, and couldn't get it there in time. Myers, right hand, serve over at the net and kill there. For the Cyclones, moving up to 22 to 13. Cyclones looking to make it two straight. Yes, Stack just with that vicious kill right there in the middle. Have her, have her playing middle right now, and and she's just just very powerful. Power. Oh, look at that again. 
Donahue, one of the most dominating serves we may have ever seen, especially from the set position, 23-13. Yeah, it is absolutely vicious, and I'm surprised she doesn't throw her back out because she just rears back and, and absolutely jerks that one. And low return, not able to get there, is Wickenkamp, 24-13. We are at set two point. This, uh, you know, this is how it was last time, too. They, they get a lead and, and just run away with it. Donahue goes for another big serve to Scott. Able to return that one to Myers. Dig down low. Donahue hasn't played a lot in the second set. Gardner goes for the kill. High return. Wickenkamp set in the air by Cahill. Going for the kill is going to be Wickenkamp. Duck wall. Far side. Two hand by Stack. Left hand. Dump attempt. And down. Cahill. Dump. 24-14. A very, very smart dump right there by Cahill. She... Recognized that the defense was sucked in a little bit and just put it right over the top of them. Serve over. We're still continuing here at set point. Cahill near side. Assumption. High bump. Wickenkamp goes left hand dump for Duckwall. She's smiling. She knew it wasn't there. Scott goes for the kill. Donahue big dig down low. Cahill goes near side. Assumption again. Donahue underneath that one again. Duckwall sets far side to stack again. Left hand under, hit by Myers again. A lot of agains happening right now. <laughs> du Donahue with a bump. Resets up the attack. Pit go off the double block. Stack keeps it alive. Duckwell far side. Goes for Gardner, and Gardner sends it into the net. 24 to 16 now. A uh, very good job at, at sustaining the, the rally and being able to return everything, but just not being able to capitalize on what's given to you. Serve over. High set is going to be by Wickenkamp. Right hand set by Wickenkamp. Punches it over. Stack. Back. Pitko off the double block. Wickenkamp keeps it alive. High in the air. Two hand over by Cahill going backwards. Set one. Pitko down. But Pitko sends it out of bounds. Point goes to the Lancers. 24 to 16 now. Yeah, they keep bringing this one back. Just making it electric. And service error. For Cahill, the way things are going to end here in this second set, 25 to 16. We'll take a timeout when we come back. Set three action. Can the Cyclones take it in three straight, or will Lake County extend it on? We'll find out. SportstownChicago.com. SportstownChicago.com is the Internet sports station that is located at the Illinois Center for Broadcasting in Lombard, Illinois. We offer you a chance, or should I say, an opportunity, to become an on-air personality, get invited to live sporting events, and we teach you how to interact with your listeners. Get the training you need to get in the broadcasting industry. Just go to SportsTownChicago.com or dial 630-916-1700. Chicago. SportstownChicago.com is now your home for the Chicago Mustangs. I don't believe you. You must be lying. No, just keep it tuned to SportstownChicago.com as the Mustangs try to rise to the top of the Mid-States Football League. I want to go higher. With hard-hitting action and big plays all over the field, the Chicago Mustangs are the perfect start to your football season. Football! Go to SportstownChicago.com slash shy Mustangs for all the action. Can't wait. SportstownChicago.com. We're in a league of our own. Breaking down the world of hockey from high school to the pros, covering every NHL team and getting into the crease with all the news and controversies. Following the Stanley Cup champion Chicago Blackhawks and the AHL powerhouse Chicago Wolves. Giving you the latest info on the AHL and providing you with our complete access to the Wolves. Throw down your gloves, remove that face shield, and score off with us on the Lamplighters. If you can't light the lamp, get back into the box. Lamplighters, every Wednesday from 5 to 7 with Chris Labosco and Adam Osgood on SportstownChicago.com. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting, with hands-on training and face-to-face -face industry networking, has helped launch several great broadcasting careers. Illinois Center for Broadcasting graduate, Lori Cease. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting has given me all the necessary tools and resources to take my personal dreams to become a radio DJ to the next level. Not only am I the program director of the TheEdgeOnAir.com, where you can hear the greatest music you've never heard, but I am also an on-air talent and 96.7 The Eagle, classic rock that really rocks. Again, without ICB, none of this could have been possible. And I would like to credit all my success 
because of my start here at the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. You just heard it firsthand, so now it's your turn. Call the Illinois Center for Broadcasting at 630-916-1700 to schedule a campus tour. That's 630-916-1700. Or visit beonair.com. That's beonair.com. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting, where broadcasting careers begin. SportsTownChicago.com, the only place where you can talk Pokemon with the Pokemaster. Bringing you all the pressing topics brought to you by SportsTownChicago.com. Interesting. I'll try one more. Why not? Pretty easy. Check out the competition on SportsTownChicago.com. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting, with hands-on training and face-to-face industry networking, has helped launch several great broadcasting careers. Illinois Center for Broadcasting graduate, Lori Cease. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting has given me all the necessary tools and resources to take my personal dreams to become a radio DJ to the next level. Not only am I the program director of TheEdgeOnAir.com, where you can hear the greatest music you've never heard, but I am also an on-air talent and 96.7 The Eagle, classic rock that really rocks. Again, without ICB, none of this could have been possible. And I would like to accredit all my success because of my start here at the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. You've just heard it firsthand, so now it's your turn. Call the Illinois Center for Broadcasting at 630-916-1700 to schedule a campus tour. That's 630-916-1700. Or visit beonair.com. That's beonair.com. The Illinois Center for Broadcasting, where broadcasting careers begin. Hey, it's your boy Johnny K. I'm here with my partner Patrick. Say hi, Patrick. Hi, Patrick. And don't forget to tune into us each week for the Sunday Sports Show. Yes, it's every Saturday on Sports Town whoa, Chicago. Whoa. What? No, Sunday. I thought we were on Saturday. No, man, Sunday Sports Show. Oh, I guess I never thought of it that way. Oh, anyway, don't forget to tune into us each Sunday from 10 a.m. to noon, the Sunday Sports Show, only on SportstownChicago.com. What are we going to do about football season? Sunday, 3 to 5 on SportsTownChicago.com, Bailey and Banks host Fallout MMA, where you can hear them talk about the top female MMA fighters and follow the UFC very closely. Sunday, 3 to 5 on SportsTownChicago.com, Fallout MMA, Bailey and Banks. Come check out the aftermath. SportstownChicago.com is the internet sports station that is located at the Illinois Center for Broadcasting in Lombard, Illinois. We offer you a chance, or should I say, an opportunity, to become an on-air personality, get invited to live sporting events, and we teach you how to interact with your listeners. Get the training you need to get in the broadcasting industry. Just go to SportstownChicago.com or dial 630-916-1700. SportstownChicago.com is now bringing you behind the scenes with contestants from NBC's The Biggest Loser. Holy cow! Check out SportstownChicago.com slash Biggest Loser to download exclusive interviews with past contestants and winners. Why are we so blessed? Listen as they talk dieting, sports, hobbies, and life after The Biggest Loser. So log on to SportstownChicago.com slash Biggest Loser now. God bless the internet. SportstownChicago.com in a league of our own. After the high school girls' volleyball season ends, the action doesn't stop at the Great Lakes Center located at 579 North Oak Ridge Drive in Aurora. On Sunday, December 4th, Sports Performance presents the Great Lakes Collegiate Recruiting Combine. For only $75, girls can go through the combine where all their information will be emailed to all colleges and universities in the United States. And then from December 28th to the 30th, Sports Performance presents the Great Lakes Center Holiday Clinic Series. For more information, go to greatlakescenter.com or email Luke at luke at greatlakescenter.com. The Great Lakes Volleyball Center in Aurora where the volleyball season never ends. Uh. Kyle Griffin, there was a lot of dancing in that last break. We had the wobble, had the 
uh, Cupid Shuffle. We did, yeah. Uh-huh. We had a little, like, two-year-old boy dancing better than I ever have been able to. Dude, he was crumping. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't even line dance. I... We're underway. Moraine going near to far in your radio dial. Set left side. Gardner down. Almost going out of bounds. Myers keeps it in play. Moraine leads two to nothing. High bump. Donahue. Duck wall near side. Gardner redirects that tip down low. And four hits going to be called on Lake County. Point goes to Moraine Valley. This third set, they draw first blood. Same kind of mistakes that were being made in that, in that second set that allowed Moraine to pull out to a lead. Morau sends it over the net on a good serve. High hit, Scott off the block by Hull. Duckwall, near side. Gardner goes for the kill. That one goes a bit far. 2 nothing. Moraine gets two in a row. I couldn't, couldn't get the snap of the wrist on that one for, for Gardner. She got up and, and, and had plenty of room to snap it down, but she just didn't execute. Right hand, Scott goes for the tape kill. And gets it. 2-1 one, one your score. My favorite thing in volleyball is the tape kill because I still want to know if they aim for that. I bet they'll never be honest with you about it either. Probably not. I bet everyone, uh, Don Hunati will get underneath that one. 3-1. Lake County leads by two. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, they probably every time say, oh, no, never. Nope, nope, nope. nope. Coach doesn't want to say for it. 10 foot line, Donahue goes for the kill. A big dig, back row, Assumption. Spike, Meyer, Stack keeps her alive. Duckwall back to Stack. Stack over the net. Scott with the return for Lake County. Scott goes for the kill attempt. High in the air. Gardner right at the net. Going for the back. That drops in the reverse. Duckwall dunk dump. 3-2. The, re the reverse duck dump. Huge, massive She dump. should patent that. She should. Gardner sends it far. Scott not called with a lift. Left side going for the kill is Black. Tip over. Sends it back on the side of the Lancers. Now Gardner bumps it after the attack attempt for the Lancers. Stack goes far. Stack keeps it in bounds. Stack down. Stack kill. I work out. Yeah, you work out here. It's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. You work out right upstairs. <laughs> back to serve. Gardner serves or might as well throw out a few fun ones in this third set. Do. Left side, Black goes for the kill. High bump by Morau. Tip over by Stack. Stack tip. Stack kill. 4-3. Moraine regains the lead. Yeah, she's just very... I Moraine. I said it right, right? Lorraine. Lorraine. <laughs> Back to the future on the mind. Guess I know what I'm watching tonight. High set by Myers. Bump. Hull. Near side, stack off the double block, and Gardner gets under it, but it goes out of bounds. 4-4 four, four is going to be the score now. Set, stack sends it into the double block, and Gardner's just not able to return it on the backside. And not much you can do there. It kind of hits, and she punches at it and sends it out of the back of the court. Black right hand right into the net. 4-5 now is your score after Black has a service error. See what I'm saying? That one was going right for the tape, but it just dropped. Donahue back to serve. Donahue having an amazing game so far today. Another big serve to Wickenkamp. Bump along the far side and sending it inbounds. Good kill. Back row by Boreo. 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, Donahue and Moreo just kind of standing there, not, not really recognizing what's going on. And that one lands right inbounds in between them. Bouncing a few times before the serve. Shelby Myers, sophomore to Warren Township High School, drops over the net. Stack, duck wall. Pico with the decoy. Stack goes for the kill. Stack down, tip, kill. 6-5, go to the Cyclones. And whether she's on that outside or, or she's in the middle, she's she's getting kills left and right. Duck wall back to serve now. Bouncing a few times. Right hand set. Bit of a, bit of a toe, toe tip, toe tip, tip toe. <laughs> serve and not able to get underneath it is Cahill. You call it the Fred Flintstone. <laughs> That's how I bowl. I shuffle. We gotta go bowling soon. Dude, I will wreck you in bowling. I I, I know you will. As <laughs> Duckwall with a service error. If I hit a hundred I'm good. I, I've completed you know my life is complete. If I don't break two hundred, it's a bad day. 
<clears throat> Black, good serve. Gardner, high bump to Donahue. Back to Gardner, who goes for the kill. Goes back around. Myers misplays it. Gardner with the kill. 8-6. <laughs> yeah, Gardner with a, a very smart play there going cross court on, on the opposite side and, and just couldn't do anything with the return. Back set, two-hand directional there by Barreo. That one drops and bounds. Point goes to the Lancers. 8-7. Yeah, Petco and... Uh, Wow, I draw a blank. Petco just kind of tipped it up and just deflected it out of the way. Donahue to Duckwall. Near side, Gardner tips it over. Huge dig down low. Wicken Camp goes back row. Myers goes for the kill. Duckwall, high set. Back to Cunningham with the left hand. Pitko not able to get there in time. We're all tied up again at eight. Good rally here for the Lancers. Again, Lancers only playing today with seven players. Yeah, that, that's something you, you don't see very often in, in throughout these leagues. You, you need a, a decent team to get some good rotations. Myers. Uh, stack able to keep it in bounds. After the return, Donahue checks out. Hall checks in. Pitko back to serve. One point deficit. Whether Stack's at the line. Oh, man. She, she's just firing on all cylinders right now. Just vicious kills left and right. Good slap serve. Pitko. Wicken Camp keeps it alive. Set along the far length of the net. High set is going to be, and Gardner down. Gardner kill. Every day I'm shuffling. Do, 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 I just wanted to use that again. Hey, hey, I'm down. The other time Moraine was on the other side, they couldn't appreciate the call. Yeah, we like the appreciation. High set, two-hand directional there. Bump underneath, that one drops and bounds. Net violation called on the Lancers. 8-11. Yeah, Hull got, got her hand up there and, and dropped it down. Right hand serve, and that's going to be Pitko and checking out Pitko and checking in Donahue, 11-9. Got to get your libero back in there. It's your the heart of your team. Right hand, good serve, Assumption. Quick back set, tip over left hand, Cunningham, good pancake by Wickenkamp. Sends it back to Myers off the Cunningham block. And Duckwall now to get cleanly underneath that one after the tip. 11-10. This is the one thing that both teams have had trouble with is, is off that tip, recognizing where it's going to go and, and trying to get underneath it for a return. Right hand, good serve. Assumption up to Duckwall. Going at the net is going to be Gardner. She can just slap it over, nothing behind it. Far set, right hand, good bump stack. Up to the net is going to be left hand by Cunningham off the double block. High return back row, Assumption. Near side, Myers. Cunningham gets underneath it. Duckwall not able to follow it up with a good bump, and we have 11 11. And Gardner and uh, once again, Gardner and Stack just kind of bumping into each other on and, and no team communication. Assumption high serve. Bump in the air by Stack. Near side down. Hull. Black goes for the two hand side dump. Duckwall over to get underneath it. Gardner sends it back to Assumption. Backside to Scott, double block, keeping it alive is going to be Duckwall. Goes to Gardner for the kill attempt. Good bump back road, joust, Hull, and net violation called on the Lancers. 12-11, the Cyclones regain their lead. Well, when you've got the, the height of Hull right there in the middle going up for that joust, something's got to happen and somebody's got to give, and chances are the shorter person's the one that's going to run into it. Morau back to serve, 12-11 lead. She serves over, two-hand bump, Assumption. Up to Scott, right hand, set, kill. Duck wall, 10-foot line to Stack, who tips it over. High bump, black, joust, going back to Hull. Duck wall, far side, Gardner off the tip. High set, Assumption. Black, far side, right hand, tip over Myers. Donahue alive, near side, Hull off the slide. Goes back to Duckwall. She goes to Gardner. Gardner redirects the tip. Down to one knee. Assumption. Back is Wicken Camp. Donahue keeping this long rally alive. Duckwall. Gardner off the double block. Down. Kill. Baby, I like it. The way you move across the floor. 13-11. Great appreciation once again. You know, long rally is able to sustain them. And, and now they're being able to score points off of them. Morau at the net, a net violation called on Lake County. 15-11. Yeah, those mistakes are 
or what'll hurt you. And you had it tied up at 11, but now you're letting Moraine run away with it. Morale, right hand, slap, set, serve. Goes near side. Scott goes for the kill. Akane able to keep it alive. Gardner, right hand, just slaps it to the back row, and that one goes out of bounds. 14 12 now. Yeah, with that that little slap it, it's kind of hard to to get any snap and, and downturn on that ball to to get it to drop in bounds scott good serve 10 foot line stack up to duck wall one kill attempt is hull scott goes far side for myers off the double tip stack picks it up left hand duck wall duck dump 15 12 yeah i wonder if she can hear you when you yell duck dump because I, I think she is, because she was smiling after that. It's a glorious play, the duck dump. It is. It, it, it is the most magnificent play in volleyball. I mean, nobody dumps better than duck wall is duck dump. Spike off the top. Donahue, good bump. Has to drop to one knee. Goes near side. Stack goes for the kill. No tip. That one goes out of bounds. 15-12. Nope. The up official overruled oh. it. Excuse me. Getting that tip kill right there. Very big. Yeah. yeah, that really, I mean, not only is that a, a point shift, but that really changes the momentum. Lancers were hanging in with this one so far. Gardner, serve, Scott, backslide down, Black over the top. Donahue up to Stack, and Stack is blocked down, but four hits is called before it went over the net, 13-16. Stack, instead of using her power, tried to go for a little bit of a finesse toss over the top, but you know, just finger rolled it right into the, right into the net. Black to Akane, Duckwall at the net, goes far side, Hull is blocked, tool block, leads to a two kill, Kyle. Hmm, how about a caulking gun? Caulking gun. Donahue, big right, man, what a serve. Scott at the net, misplays it, she hits the net, 18-13. Well, that right there is, you know, you got up with Pitco for that, for that joust at the net, and, and someone runs into the net. It's not something that you really want. On sophomore night here, Moraine's version of senior night, Donahue sends that one right into the net, 18-14. That vicious kill, that vicious, that might as well be a kill because that thing is so vicious that, that if you return it, you're lucky. Back to serve, right hand, drops it over the top. High bump there, quick side to Stack, goes for the kill. Underneath it, able to get him in time is Scott. Asuncion goes for the kill, Donahue bump back row. Akane spikes over, Wickenkamp keeps it alive, goes far side to Asuncion again. Gardner underneath that one. Duck wall, Stack, right hand slap at it. Gardner keeps it alive after the return. Donahue, 10 foot line, kill! Donahue! Oh, 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 my gosh. 19-14. And from the 10-foot line, she just pounds it through that double block and, and gets it to drop down. Duckwall serves. Quick one. Quick kill. 24, Marina Barreo out of Lake Sweeney High School. Good kill there, 19-15. Yeah, that quick kill right there is... Is, is very telling of what they could have been doing all, all this this whole game and, and Moraine just really was not ready for that one that quick one Cahill right hand set serve high in the air is going to be left hand by Cunningham goes for the kill back set Scott off the double block Donahue underneath it Duckwall keeps it in play for Donahue to go for the kill Donahue sends it out of bounds on the kill attempt 1916 your score no advantage on that one. She's shooting from the 10-foot line, aiming for that back line. Just, you can't get much snap from back there. And serving it too far is going to be Cahill. 2016, five points away from match victory are the Cyclones of Marine Valley Community College. And you got you got a, a good, good server right here and, and someone you want on. Stack serve with her whole right wrist wrapped up, still having a great game. Dig down low, duck wall, stack near side. Gardner goes for the kill. Sends it a bit far, but unable to get under his Wiccan camp. Donahue sets up the attack for the Cyclones. Back, down, Cunningham, left hand. That one goes out of bounds for Ashley Cunningham out of Eisenhower High School, 2017. No snap down, and no snap down means no snap points. Gardner, high set, Pitko redirects the tip. 
Down to one knees is Sunchen at the line. Scott sends it over. Duckwall keeps it alive to Donahue. Sends it back to the net. Stack two hand side bump. Keeps the rally going for the Cyclones. Back set. Scott goes far. Scott goes out of bounds. 21 17 on SportsTownChicago.com. Very smart. You know, they're just, this is what they need to do. They just need to, they need to play and, and get these points in and, and get this game over with. They, they keep messing around and, and letting Lake County get some points back. Pitko serves and Pitko! Ace! 22 17. <laughs> Big ace right there. Getting your team some points to get him, get him out of here. Pitko serves again. High return into the rafters. Bounces a few times. Assumption underneath it. Assumption sends it out of bounds. She skid a bit on that squeaky floor. 23 17. Timeout called now for Lake County. We'll be back. Conclusion of this one, possibly here. Marine Valley Community College, SportsTownChicago.com. Hey, this is Dr. P, SportsTownChicago.com, inviting you to check out the Team Dow Wellness Tip of the Week. Their weight release program helped me drop over 50 pounds and over 10 pant sizes. Visit our homepage at SportsTownChicago.com or TheEdgeOnAir.com to find out the Team Dow Wellness Tip of the Week. Butt scratcher! Now, Peter. Butt scratcher! Peter, now! Butt scratcher! Now! Butt scratcher! SportsTownChicago.com doing the dirty work so you don't have to. Manamon. 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 And we're back, SportsTownChicago.com. 23rd of this month, Griff. You excited? I am excited. Come on, man. You know me. Pitko, serve. Assumption drops to one knee for the bump. Goes far side. Black keeps it alive. Duckwall. Wow. Duckwall is playing in a magnificent game today. Right hand. Hit over the top. Black stack keeps it up to Duckwall. Cunningham left hand. But hits the net with that kill attempt as Donahue checks back in for Pitko. 23-18. Cyclones still need two to close it out. Yeah, she she went up for it and tried to shoot it cross court, but unfortunately sends it into the net. Assumption clears the net. Duckwall at the net. Blocked back down by Myers. Donahue drops a knee. Sends it over to keep the rally going. Myers double blocked. Four hits called. Four hits called on the Lancers, and we are at match point. 24-18. They have those mistakes right there. Those are what have hurt the Lancers all night. Simple mistakes like uh, like four hits and running into the net. Couldn't make these things a lot closer. Makani Morao serves it into the net. Things aren't ending here just yet. 24-19. Uh, just add a little bit more drama to it. Scott back to serve for the Lancers. Still trying to keep their hopes alive. Joust picked up. Gardner stack goes far side. Donahue goes for the underhand hit. Sending it out of bounds, and point goes to the Cyclones. Moraine Valley wins it in three. This one 25 to 19 after winning 25 16 and 25 12 here on sophomore night. Again, Griff. Every time we see Moraine, just shows up why shows us why they are the elite of the Skyway Conference year in and year out. It, it really doesn't surprise me considering the. The schools that you have around. I mean, look at look at the, the roster. You, you've got two from Stag, Eisenhower, McCauley, Sandberg, Bremen. You've even got a transfer from Japan. You know, that just goes to show you what kind of, of skill level that this team plays at and, and the consistency of them winning. Uh, you look around here uh, over on that, the far wall from us, you can see. State champion, state champion, state champion, state champion. Yeah. It's consistent. So the coach has very good philosophy. She knows what she's doing. She's been doing it for a while. So it doesn't really surprise me that these girls come out and play and win in three straight. All right. Well, that's going to be it for us here at Moraine Valley Community College. Next time we're here, Griff, very well may be the 2011 Illinois High School All-Star Game. On December 3rd, 5 p.m., make sure you stop by. All donations at the door. All ticket sales go to benefit a Silver Lining Foundation for Breast Cancer Awareness. For Kyle Griffin and your sweet Dr. Pete, back to regularly scheduled programming on SportsTownChicago.com.